My name is Taylor McCurdy and behind the camera today is Gert and we're here at Valge Fonden Game Reserve where I'm sitting up on a rocky ridge and this area is known as Low Range Pass and it boasts the most spectacular views of the southern section of the reserve. And of course I've gone looking for bugs but you're thinking Taylor, bugs in winter? What are you talking about? And you're right, we haven't had a good rainy season anyway, so they've been few and far between. However, nature has a very interesting way of helping animals out even in the most driest and harshest conditions. And today we're looking at a new plant, one that I'm almost certain none of you have seen before because, well, it's a new one for me. This is called a small leaved fluff bush this plant is actually flowering at the moment but let's take a closer look and see what exactly is frolicking around the flowers This is an African honeybee. I'm quite proud of myself for sitting in amongst all these insects, especially the bees, because they're known to sting me. I don't know why, but they do. They always sting me. But not today. Fingers crossed. Well, well, I suppose we'll see by the end of this, won't we? But there are lots and lots of bees around here, and there isn't really many plants that are flowering at the moment. Of course, the aloes and a couple of other succulents, but right here, right now, this is all these insects have and they have covered this tree and what i really love is that we've got these up close views of all of these hohos hohos are you know what we as south africans call a bunch of different bugs and uh, the african honeybees are vigorously working so what we're looking at right now are the workers and for those of you that don't know all worker bees are females in fact it's pretty much a matriarchal society we have the queen the queen lays eggs and those eggs that become workers are all females and they do everything. They will go out as they are now and they're feeding on nectar. They're of course collecting lots of pollen. I'm gonna get into that in just a moment. They'll look after the youngsters, they'll feed them, they feed the queen. And then of course they also have to help feed the drones, which are the males. They don't even have any stings on them at all. And in fact, their role is just purely to mate with the queen, to make sure that there is a future for the hive. So those yellow blotches that you can see on these honeybees, that's all pollen and you can see it's pretty much covered the entire bee. But something that you may have not known before is that insects actually have hair and bees have lots of it. So those little yellow pouches that you can see, those are called pollen baskets. And not all bees have pollen baskets, but the African honeybees do. So it's sort of a flattened surface and uh, all of the pollen, which is uh, negatively charged, is attracted to the positively charged hairs on the bees. So it's very easy as they're bound from flower to flower, they naturally start to collect it. But what they will use is that they'll use their little legs and they'll brush that pollen in the direction onto their last set of legs. And those pollen baskets actually have a name. They're called corbuculae. That's the plural, of course. And uh, it's sort of like a flattened area. You might be able to see it if we find a bee that hasn't got any pollen uh, collected in that area. So just have a look really closely. But then they'll use their legs and they'll collect all the pollen that's over their bodies that is attached to all those hairs and then scrape it down into that one area. And once they've filled those pollen baskets up, then it's time to return home. Not without a quick drink of nectar though. So you can see them pretty much just shoving their faces straight down into the flower and then using their proboscis to be able to suck up all that sugary sweet nectar. And it always makes me laugh because it looks like bees have uh, 
uh, consumed a bunch of energy drinks. But I suppose that's what nectar is, right? Full of sugar, full of energy. So whenever you see bees around a plant, you won't see them behaving like particularly territorial. They don't tend to chase any of the other insects away. They just quite happily bound from flower to flower and, and giving everybody a turn, which is quite nice of the bees. But of course, there's lots and lots of other little creatures on this plant. Something else that we never get a chance to look at because they are so small are the thrips. They're these tiny little creatures, as you can see. They're long and slender. You get a variety of colors. There are actually loads of different thrip species in South Africa, but my book only has three of them. I think it's a common thrip, but I stand to be corrected. However, you'll almost exclusively find this species of thrip on flowers. So they will eat leaves, of course, but uh, they do prefer to eat the flowers. And if you watch them, look at them, those mandibles, they haven't stopped. They're just moving from side to side, munching away. And because they're so small, you really don't see the damage that they do to the plants. But thrips are huge pests all over the world. Florists and other people who have got beautiful gardens are not fans of thrips. But they feed on the flowers, they feed on the plant sap, and when there are lots of them, as you can see, there are plenty. There's actually not one flower here without a thrip on it that can cause a lot of damage over time. Okay, so that's a female thrip that's moving on the flower. She's quite big, quite a large abdomen. Oh, oh, well, that's clearly a male. Look how he just grabbed her. He's used his first pair of legs, hooked underneath uh, her wings, and then mounted her. My goodness, he's holding on for dear life. She didn't seem too keen, but that hasn't stopped her feeding. That's all she seems to be interested in at the moment. Well, there we go. If only I could really show you how small these creatures are. They're just a few millimeters in length. And this is one of the best close-ups I've ever had of, of thrips. Normally, you know, they just look like black little smudges on the flowers, but that's epic. And they'll lay their eggs on the plants itself where they then hatch and eventually metamorphosize into what we're looking at right now. A big thank you to Sadiba Makweti and Nungubani for hosting us here at Valka Fonden. I can hear the bees buzzing about and well, I think they're telling me to buzz off and move away from the plant that they're trying to pollinate, to collect nectar and of course take back to the hive. So that's it from us today. A whole bunch of new bug species, some that I've also never seen before and I'd better get identifying them.